Hello, my name is Fiona, and I'm a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you planning to take the Praxis Core Academic Skills for Educators Mathematics test? This is Praxis Test Code 5733, a multi-subject exam. This problem set covers the subtopic of data interpretation and representation, statistics, and probability. Let's review the types of questions you can expect to find on the exam. Problem number one. Which of the following is the mean for the following data set? Here is our data set. We are going to use the formula to find the mean or the average. And this is our formula. X equals, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers in our data set. X one plus X two plus X three plus X four plus X five plus X six over N. And N is the total number in the data set, which in this case, N is equal to six. So now let's plug those numbers in. X1 is 3.5 plus 6.1 plus 5.3 plus 8.1 plus 3.6 plus 4.2 over 6. So now we can use our calculator that we've been provided to add up the numbers and do the division. We end up with 30.6 over 6. And that is equal to, so the mean is equal to 5.13. So we've got our answer right there. 5.13 is the correct answer. Problem number two. Use the table below to answer the question. Five students from the fourth grade and five students from the sixth grade were randomly chosen. They were tested for their reading speeds. The results were summarized in the table below. Which of the following can be concluded regarding the mean reading speeds of grade four and grade six students? So we can use the formula from the first question to find the mean reading speed of both the grade four students and the grade six students. So let's do that. We've got for the grade four, 82 plus 95 plus 88 plus 97 plus 103. And we've got five in the data set. So it's going to be over five. And for the grade six students, we will have 130 plus 100 plus 96 plus 124 plus 145 over 5 again. So we can use our calculator now to find the solutions. All right, now we've got the calculations. Grade four students, it's 465 over five, which the mean is 93. For grade six, we have 595 over the five. And the mean here is 119. So the mean reading speed for grade six students is definitely higher than for the grade four students. So let's find 
the correct answer. The mean reading speed of grade four students is higher than the mean reading speed of grade six students. That is not correct. The mean reading speed of grade six students is higher than the mean reading speed of grade four students. That is correct. Let's put a circle on it just in case there's an even better answer. The mean reading speed of grade six students is lower than the mean reading speed of grade four students, and that's not correct. The mean reading speed for each sample cannot be calculated, and that is incorrect as well. The mean reading speeds are equal for both grades, and that is not correct. So this is in fact the correct answer. Problem number three. For a given linear model, y equals negative 3x plus 7, if the input variable x is 2, what is the predicted value of the output variable y? Let's do the math. Our equation is y equals negative 3x plus 7. Now let's plug in the value for x y is equal to negative 3 times 2 plus 7. y is equal to negative 6 plus 7, which means y is equal to 1. So the correct answer here is 1. Problem number 4. Use the table below to answer the question. The table shows the birth weights of eight random babies. What is the median weight of the babies? So what is the median number? The median number is the middle number when all of the numbers in the set are listed in increasing order. So I've gone ahead and put all of our numbers in increasing order. So the lowest is 2.7 and the highest is 4.8. So we need to find the middle number of this set. So we can cross them out to find that. And because our set is even, we have two numbers. So now we have to find the mean of these two numbers in order to find the actual answer. So we've got two in this, 3.1 plus 3.3 over two. So that is equal to 6.4 over two, which is equal to 3.2. So is that in our number set? Yes, it is. So 3.2 kilograms is the correct number here. I trust I was able to clarify the types of questions you will find on the Praxis 5733 exam. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.